हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू लर्न मैकेनिकल यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द हीट इंजन एंड रेफ्रिजरेशन और हीट पंप गाइस सो लेट अस स्टार्ट आवर लेक्चर गाइस ओके एंड लेट अस स्टार्ट आवर डिस्कशन हीट इंजन इन द फर्स्ट पॉइंट द मेजर डिफरेंस इज दैट हियर द इन हीट इंजन हीट इज ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम द हाइयर टेंपरेचर टू लोअर टेंपरेचर गाइस एनर्जी इज ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम द हाइयर टेंपरेचर टू लोअर टेंपरेचर This is the difference, guys. In uh, whether we are coming to the refrigeration, guys. Energy is transferred from the lower temperature to higher temperature, guys. Uh, here, he, he, uh, here, the T1 is greater than T2, guys. Even here also, T1 is greater than T2, guys. T1 is greater, always greater than T2, guys. Here, um, in heat engine, temperature is always transferred from the higher temperature to lower temperature, guys. and here the temperature is always uh, transfer from the lower temperature to higher temperature guys this is the major difference between the heat engine and refrigeration guys let us uh, coming come to the our second point guys which is oh, much more much more important uh, as we adjust we can understand better with the diagram guys so uh, look at here guys here t1 uh, is the temperature with higher temperature guys and t2 is the lower temperature guys when the energy is transferred from the higher temperature to lower temperature guys there is a al always the work have been the work have been taken to by heat by this heat engine guys so that the, this arrow outwards represents that what the work have been taken by this engine guys we have not done any work on this engine guys we have got the work from this heat engine guys because the energy is transferred from the higher temperature to lower temperature guys if you want to uh, numerically calculate the work done guys w is equal to q1 minus q2 guys so let us come to the refrigeration guys what is the difference between the, the two difference to the heat engine guys uh, here the energy is transferred from the t2 to t1 guys we as we have already discussed here guys as the t1 is greater than t2 guys in both in the both cases but energy is transferred here the energy is transferred from the higher to lower guys as i have shown higher to lower guys is as arrows as these arrows are representing and here the and here in refrigeration guys energy is transferred from the t2 to t1 guys as we, same here guys the energy is transferring from the t2 guys t2 to t1 guys is arrows representing this energy is transferring the t2 to t2 guys as we know guys the uh, always the energy is trans transferring transfer from transfer to the higher to lower guys always energy will transfer from the higher to lower guys as the as here the energy is transferring from the lower to higher guys uh, we have to do some work on this engine guys so that so that only it is possible to have uh, some output guys in refrigeration so this is the major difference guys between these two Uh, so let us go to the next point, guys. Uh, the third point it is a spontaneous process, guys. Whether uh, whether we are coming to the refrigeration, it is non-spontaneous, guys. So what? Why it is a spontaneous process, guys? Because here the temper here the temperature is trans higher and here the temperature is lower. As it is uh, energy is trans from higher to lower, it is actually we are not doing any work. It has been the process is very quick and fast. whereas coming to the refrigeration guys we have uh, as the energy is transferred from the lower to higher so that we have to do some work so that the work have to uh, the energy is to be to be transmitted so that it is the not fast not spontaneous process guys so and okay coming to the fourth point guys it is a clockwise cycle guys as uh, this cycle works uh, in a clock clockwise process guys this process work as anti clock process guys and at fifth point and it it is a work production cycle guys heat engine is a work production cycle guys and refrigeration or heat pump uh, it is a work consuming cycle guys why why the why this is a work production why this is a work consuming guys because it work in, in heat engine we are uh, as the energy is transferred from the higher temperature to lower temperature so that the, the work have been done by this engine we have not done any work so that there is a work the here this arrows outwards representing that what the we have got some work guys so that it is a work production cycle guys as we have as coming to the refrigeration guys here the work have been done by us so that there is a we have the the consumption of uh, work have been taken here so that it is a work consumption cycle guys as coming to the our last point guys it uh, as as we know that the uh, work production cycle is carnot cycle guys and work consumption cycle is nothing but reverse work as a reverse carnot cycle guys so that so guys it is a, there are the more uh, 
six differences which how which are important i hope that this video have helped to you guys if you like this video please subscribe to my channel guys